This is often not discussed or overlooked in the discussion about testosterone therapy and performance enhancing drugs. Low enough testosterone prevents people from sleeping, exercise, social connection, et cetera. Look, I'm in my mid forties and I can tell you that you can get and maintain very healthy testosterone levels without TRT if you do the right things. So today we're going to talk about how you can optimize the ratios depending on your particular life goals because the ratio of estrogen and testosterone in every individual has profound influence on feelings of well-being, feelings of anxiety or lack of anxiety, on reproduction, on sexual behavior, that testosterone has this incredible effect of making effort feel good. Now, this is important because we often think of testosterone as creating whatever, masculinization or it's virilization or all these, these terms are thrown around, but what's it really doing when it comes to mate choice and competition? What it's doing is it's reducing the threshold for anxiety. And in doing so, it selects individuals of a given species to push further, and we all make these molecules, but there are also important behavioral tools, supplementation tools, as well as prescription drugs that can impact ratios of testosterone and estrogen in really powerful ways. The question that I often get, in fact, is one of the questions I get most often in the comments on YouTube, I don't know why that is, is whether or not ejaculation adjusts testosterone levels. Sex and ejaculation itself does not reduce testosterone levels. However, abstinence or sex without ejaculation for a week or more will increase testosterone levels up to 400%. It's important to point out that while increases in testosterone promote seeking of mates and reproduction, in males, it's interesting to point out that testosterone is promoting seeking of sex, but it's also estrogen in males that's important for libido. If estrogen levels are brought too low, then men will completely lose their libido. So testosterone promotes sex-seeking behavior. And the real question then is, does sex itself promote testosterone? And the answer is somewhat complicated, but the short version is yes. Men who observe sex, so I guess this would be observing pornography, they had increases in testosterone that were very modest of about 10%. When people participated in sex, they actually did this study where people had blood draws and they had real sex with their partners and they had 70% increases in testosterone. So the answer is actually complicated. It's not straightforward. What it means is that sex itself increases testosterone. However, abstinence also increases testosterone even further. So it's a nuanced answer and you have to understand that nuance if you want to understand how certain behaviors impact hormones and how hormones impact those behaviors. One of the quickest ways to boost someone's testosterone is to have them achieve a win. Repeated failures yeah. take testosterone levels lower than they would be otherwise. There's a slow system associated with achieving wins even small wins. And that slow system is in the form of hormonal control that then translates to gene control. Testosterone has the, the effects we're all aware of, like deepening the voice, facial hair, muscle growth, recovery, etc. Mostly because testosterone increases protein synthesis. But in any case, testosterone has some very interesting effects on the brain. The major mental effect of testosterone is it makes effort feel good. For people that aren't getting prescribed TRT, but want the increase in testosterone. There are these plant compounds like Tonga Ali, about 400 milligrams per day, has the effect of raising free testosterone and overall testosterone by about 100 to 200 points. And another one, which is very interesting, it's a Nigerian shrub called Fadogia agrestis, and it mimics luteinizing hormone, which is the hormone that comes out of the hypothalamus that stimulates the testes if you got those and the ovaries if you've got those to make more testosterone or estrogen. And so those two herbal supplements together can give a significant boost in free and active testosterone. So you said Tongan Ali can give you 100 to 200. Yeah, about that. Well, what does the other one give you? Fidogia is usually taken at about 600 milligrams. And that's what the two of them syn synergistically yeah. Fidogia will actually make the testes grow. It's a, really? it's a, it's a noticeable difference. So everybody wants that. 